Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. The subject of today's lesson is uh, the hashma. Hashma. But to start right, we need to start first from the word Java. So we are inside the Java programming language. Specifically, we are inside the utility package. So, to work with the hash map, you need to import java.util.star. And this is the area where Java Collection Framework resides. So, we have something called Java Collection Framework. JCF and within the JCF we have a lot of data structure and interfaces major interfaces there are something like set interface and list interface the uh, and the idea of Java collection framework is to hold different types of data structures available in for programmers within Java programming language. However, each data structure has a unique property or a specific characteristic. For example, the set. The set, if you want to view it like an array, but with uh, unlimited number of values. It's limited actually, but Let's say it's not fixed length. Uh, within this array, you can put any object you want. However, you cannot put a primitive type, such as integer x equals 3. You cannot put x inside, because Java Collection for Framework only holds objects. And the workaround for that is to use the uh, wrapper classes. So for this integer, we use integer y equal new integer, and we get 3, then this y can easily reside within this set. It's the same thing you can do within also a list. A list is also similar to, to a set. It holds objects. So, one line of objects. However, the difference between set and list is very important. Set has the major characteristic for set is it, allow, it allows no duplicates. No duplicates. So, like what you put here is always unique. And this is coming from the math uh, science uh, or the math. Uh, you know, proves and things. In math, we don't have, in this set, any repeated number. So, normally a set is a group of values or a group of objects that has only unique values. Uh, in terms of programming, I can say this is like, like the primary key in the database, where you don't have a repeated primary key or duplicate primary key. However, list, it allows duplicate. allows duplicates. <coughs> Those major data structures within the Java Collection Framework are what we need to talk about once we want to master this piece, the hash map. And the hash map actually is a mapping technique between two, if you want to say, two columns. Also, the length of the columns are undefined. It's growing if you want. And the first column of this is of set of property, and the second column is of the list of property. So you have only here, you can say, uh, uh, no duplicates, and here duplicates. But you look to this piece, this whole piece, as one data structure. You don't look at it as two data structures. 
uh, what 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 this will add to our programming capabilities. Let's let's look to this simple example. I have this pencil. The pencil consists of the pencil and the rubber. The pencil itself is an invention by itself, and the rubber or the eraser here is another invention. But once you combine two inventions, you still have two inventions. I know inside. However, now it's very handy. You can write and then you can read at the same time. And this introduced a new piece. Most of the people now have pencil with rubber attached all the time. So it's really handy. I could say more useful than the pencil itself or the rubber itself. For special cases, you need rubber by, uh, by itself and the pencil by itself, but this is a very handy tool. The hash map actually offers the same thing. It, it ties two things together. <clears throat> so, you will have an object here of whatever type you like, and you tie it to another object in the other side. And you have this opportunity to go on and on and on like this. However, in the, C, in the set side, you have only keys because you don't have duplicates. And we could say we have values on the other side. So key value pair, key value pair is a well-known piece of knowledge within web development in any programming language. The key value pair, well-known in the URLs and everywhere in, in the web. So this piece, the, the hash, uh, hash map, will help you while you are writing code for the web or any other uh, application to uh, tie objects together and making sure that the keys will never repeat also. So this is the philosophy, tying things together. By the way, the name of one thing here, one row, it has a name. It's called the entry. And since you understand now what is a hash map and from where it's coming, it's not a new piece. It's a, combina a combination of two major data structures within the Java collection framework. And you know how it looks. The next lecture, you will see with me how we write the code to deal with hash maps. And thank you for listening.